Hello everyone, it's Exo Man. I wanted to preface this video and just say a couple of things. Um, obviously, if you've read the title, you know it is more or less a diatribe about being what we feel was gouged by a contractor that we've worked with numerous times in the past. And he's a good guy. We, we like the guy. He's, he, he did uh, some solid deals for me in the past. He took care of me. But in this particular instance, he, he really fumbled. And he did. He made a series of mistakes. And then when my wife asked him to give her a clear indication of what the price would be for this job of replacing this coil, he neglected to tell her the most expensive part. And we felt that that was unscrupulous. We don't think that that was a simple, honest mistake. We think that he didn't want to tell her that he was going to charge 1,400% for refrigerant. That's right. You'll hear in this discussion, he bought a cylinder for, I think, 85 bucks, and it was almost, almost double what our system needed. So he had less than a little less than a half of that left when he was done with the job to sell to somebody else. So basically $50 worth of refrigerant, his cost, he wanted to bill us $750 for. And if you're going to do that, you've got to tell your clients. So I recommend to you homeowners and, and, and business owners out there, when you are working with con HVAC contractors or any contractor, get the pricing up front. They know what they charge. If they're going to put refrigerant in your system, ask them how much they charge per pound and how many pounds are needed in your system. If they can't tell you for sure, if they're, in other words, if they're topping off your system, watch them charge your system and ask them to put, they should have a scale for their refrigerant because this stuff, if they're upcharging it that much, they need to show you, they need to prove to you what they're doing. So I just wanted to say these few things and yes, we are business people. We understand supply and demand, basic economics. We understand that everyone needs to be a living, make a living. We mark things up all the time. That's what we do. We buy and resell things. That's part of what we do. In addition to offering services, we buy and resell things. In fact, I have some proprietary things that I mark up quite a bit because I'm the only person who has those things, you see. But things like refrigerant, are constant okay you can look on the internet and get a price per pound for r22 or r410a or any one of these refrigerants and know what you're dealing with so call your contractor if, and, and find out your prices ahead of time what they charge for labor what they charge for the part look the part up you might be able to buy the part yourself online a lot of a lot of these things you don't need a license to buy just know what you're dealing with and Enjoy paying your contractor. Enjoy that that person is making a living and feeding his family, but don't get gouged. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. So as you can see, I've made all the necessary repairs to the pier. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. You're a farm girl. I know, but... Here's a farm girl weakness. I've developed some, some fears over the past couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't even need the cheap board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't finished repairing this one out here. <laughs> Look, it's so Whoa. wobbly. Very wobbly. Whoa! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Roller coaster! Trying to knock me out. Say wow! This, these would not be pretty with mud all over them. Yeah. Whoa. Our rich neighbor refuses to clean up his pier. destroyed pier. It's been like that for years. Until it takes out one of our peers. Yeah, stop walking. So tell me a story. <laughs> I, I want a specific story. Which story do you want? I want the story about what's happened lately with the uh, air conditioning system. Oh, God. 
So it, at so our, right at after our, the storm. At our business. Yeah. yeah. I got back and it was just hot in there and it was not cooling. So I called our guy who's who, supposed to be our bud. Who we've given take so, care of us so much business to. I've given him so much business. <clears throat> Tell the story. Tell the tell the story of the of the. Oh, we had at, at the spa seven <clears throat> years ago. Somebody came through and stole every single unit in the back. The outdoor units. Every single one. The compressors. One. It was yeah. like we were eight ten or of nine them. of them. Oh, I, I thought know. they were. Were there? Maybe ten. Okay. I don't know. Anyway. So everybody, yeah. everybody's business was incapacitated. We were hot <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they did it in summer yeah. and not in a good way <laughs> yeah yeah so then we called our guy in and he replaced them all he got all that business and he got he got the insurance company thousands, insurance companies tens to pay, of thousands of and dollars. the insurance company said indoor and outdoor need to be replaced right they weren't they weren't going to just replace the outdoor systems right so everybody, so everybody got, got brand new systems and he had his guys working double time yep. lots of work yeah lots of work yeah and so i call him when we need him yeah. and this time he did show up that day and he put some free on in and it started cooling and i was happy Customers were happy. This is the unit and, he had replaced seven years ago. Right. So it's out of warranty, so I had to pay for the Freon and so it was $150. I think he put three pounds of Freon in there. Yeah. So Which is crazy. And, and he said, I'm not gonna charge you for the labor. And I was like, I want you to make money. So paid him a little bit extra for that. Oh crap. Yeah. And then a few days later it wasn't cooling. It was still hot in there. I mean, it was hot again in there. And so we called him back. Didn't show up until like hours after <laughs> he was supposed to. And said that there was a leak. Uh, actually, he sent his friend. Yeah. And, or his, I don't know, some guy that works for him. He sent his friend to me one time, which is why we shouldn't have used him, which is a side story. But he's his, a really nice guy. His part he sent his partner to me for an air conditioner that he installed and and eighteen months later I had a problem and his partner came and went up and looked at the indoor unit and said I needed a new air handler. And I said, No, just he just replaced that. Yeah. And and I said, Have him call me and neither of them called me back right. and I got the unit working. They're and just like where's the rug? They lied. Yeah. <laughs> so total yeah. scam. So then uh said that there was a leak in the coil so they took the coil and he was trying to re repair it and he got this stuff that he had never used before Doesn't and he work. tried to repair it yeah. he said it takes six hours so anyway it took two days to figure out that this thing was not going to work and we were just dying god we should not it was have like used 95 him. Degrees. i cannot believe you we, we used him so then he was supposed to be there at 9 30 in the morning i told him i was going to get there early, which I usually get there about 9.45, so it wasn't that early, but I did have to make an effort. <laughs> and I got there, and he wasn't there. And then three hours later, I called him, or I texted him. Two hours later, I texted him. Then I called him, then I texted him. He did not return anything. And right, I nope. was, and then finally I texted him and said, I'm having another guy come put a new coil in right now because you are not communicating My guy, with me. Jeff. I cannot believe yeah. that you're not communicating with me. I did not expect this from you. Yeah. I said a text hours or later. a call would be fine. Hours went Yeah, by. hours, hours later. And our girls and are in there baking. And then even 20 minutes later, he texted me and said, I'm on my way to you. And then it was two more hours until he got there. But so he ended up putting the new coil in, it was, and you'd ask them to prepare you for the cost. You basically asked them for a quote. And he had said that the reason he didn't call me or text me in the morning was because he was too busy because he was on the phone for me only, not working on anybody else's stuff, trying to get a coil, a coil. but there wasn't one in town anywhere. And our other guy found and one this other within guy five minutes. that I talked to called me back five minutes after I texted him the model he number said he had and a said coil. I have one yeah. on, on hold at this supply house and so I told 
the other guy that and he was like no way i can't yeah. believe that you know yeah. and just like <laughs> suffice it to say yeah. a lot of these guys are shysters or they're or they're incompetent well I, I don't get it i mean we have that one guy who is awesome yeah he is straightforward and he tells us yeah we upcharge a lot for the freon but this guy i asked him when he was said he was on his way instead of saying oh yeah come on i wanted to make sure that i wanted him to come on so i said what should i be prepared for as far as cost and he said four hundred dollars and so he got there he did the work put it in great it's and he said and, and I'm free so on excited. right and, and Freon. Yeah, but he didn't tell you that the Freon was going to be the most expensive part of yeah, everything. Yeah, so the Freon ended up being $750. He wanted to charge you, you $750. Yeah. And, and who said no? Then the coil was $500, and then the labor was $400. And so he did give us a break on the labor. <laughs> so, so look, so he wanted, he was buying Freon. He bought. He bought 25 pounds of Freon for $84. And he wanted to charge us. For a little more than half of that, yeah. he, for, for about fourteen pounds, for about fifty dollars cost to him, he wanted to charge us seven hundred and fifty bucks yeah. just for the freon, yeah. not for labor. Seven hundred and twenty-five. Okay, all you AC contractors. But then what he did gives? subtract the hundred and fifty that I had paid the week before. What gives? <laughs> I'm I'm going. I want to go take the six oh six, whatever ETA test. test and get and get licensed. Get certified to buy Freon. I, I'm I'm really really done with this garbage. I am so pro business. Am I not? Oh, are you, totally you? Are. I mean, You're... I and I have said to him, I want you to make money because he'll be like, I'm not going to charge you labor. I'm like, but you're going to yes, charge me seven hundred and fifty dollars. I know. I want to pay for what I'm getting. I want to pay for what I'm getting. Yeah. Because you took a twenty-five dollar EPA test. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know, but. I just, yeah, I was just like, what? It just drove the bill up to $1,850. Yeah. So this guy, we got him nine unit installs, and this is how he thanks us. And he installed, well, yeah. he ins I've called him multiple times. He installed a, a unit in our house, and he's, he, he's just giving him a lot of work. I don't like to be that guy that assumes that I know everything. You know, we all need to make a living. I completely get that. And you and I know very well that if you buy something and then you resell it, there's no point in doing that unless you're going to mark it up. Yeah. That's that's business. Yeah. That's business. You, so you buy it, you resell it. The person you're reselling it to knows that you need to make a profit to feed your family and pay your bills. That's a no-brainer. But to take refrigerant that is well how much how much a pound dollars and 24 cents i think he was and then saying. and then want to charge what a hundred dollars fifty dollars a pound for something you paid three dollars and fifty cents a pound for fifty dollars a pound come that's, on that's a bit much that's come pretty, on pretty I, I i go down to the dock and I, I go down to the dock and the guy sells me flounder for two dollars a pound and then i charge a hundred dollars a pound for it it doesn't make any sense yeah except that you need a license to be able to buy it and the license is $24 or or certif certification right i don't know i i'm i welcome i welcome all ac contractors to talk to me about this and educate me about yeah. all the horrible well, the stuff other guy you have to say, go through yeah they do mark it up pretty good but yeah. he wouldn't have charged us that much yeah no. he would have been more like three hundred dollars that guy is gold. that guy is he's he's gold. jeff is so good he's he's yeah. taking care of us and I, I can't believe he, he couldn't he couldn't do this particular job but next time yeah he was we'll close the damn business down before we hire mike mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yes well I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not yeah. closing down we'll just yeah. sweat like we did for three days yeah exactly yeah all right so diatribe over yeah thanks for sharing a story <laughs> sad, a sad story <laughs> yeah, it's, it, we, everything's good life is good